Now we have one last basic example of a quadric surface, which is a, called a quadric cylinder. <clears throat> a quadric cylinder is a quadric surface where one variable is missing, doesn't appear in the equation at all. An example would be x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. So the intersection of this with the xy plane is an ellipsoid, and the intersection with any other horizontal plane is exactly the same ellipsoid. And so it looks like this. So all these slices are the same ellipsoid. In general, you just draw lines in the direction of the missing variable. Okay, now what about more general quadric surfaces? Of the form ax squared plus by squared plus cz squared plus dxy plus exz plus fyz plus gx plus hy plus iz plus j equals zero. So in general, you can get rid of these terms, or at least if you see one of these terms, like a gx, and if you also have an ax squared, then you can get rid of that term by completing the square. And that has the effect of translating your surface. So let's do an example. So let's look at x squared plus y squared minus 4z squared plus 4x minus 6y minus 8z equals 13. So we will get rid of the linear terms by completing the square. So I can rewrite this equation as x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared minus 4 times z plus 1 squared. And then when you work out all the constant terms, What's left is 22. So what surface is this? Well, let's introduce some new variables. Let's let x bar equal x plus 2. Let's let y bar equal y minus 3. And z bar equals z plus 1. Then our equation turns into x bar squared plus y bar squared minus 4z bar squared equals 22. So in the variables x bar, y bar, and z bar, this is a hyperbol hyperboloid of one sheet. But we want to draw the surface in the original x, y, and z coordinates. How 
How do we do that? Well, so the x bar, y bar, and z bar axes are different from the x, y, and z axes. They're translated. And they're centered at the point where x equals minus 2. That's where x bar equals 0. And y bar equals 0, which means that y equals 3. And z bar equals 0, which means that z equals minus 1. So in the x, y, and z axes, we get a hyperbolic paraboloid, which is translated from the standard one, and is centered around this point, minus 2, comma 3, comma minus 1. So completing the square corresponds to translating the surface. In other words, shifting it in the x, y, and z directions. So whenever you have extra linear terms, that means that you have a translated surface. Now if you further have terms of the form x, y, x, z, and y, z, then these correspond to rotation of the surface. So you can get rid of those terms by making a change of coordinates which rotates the surface. You've got a rotated version for example, if you wanted a hyperboloid where its axis, so to speak, was not vertical but was pointing at a slant, then you would have some of these x, y, x, z, and y, z terms. But that requires some linear algebra, which is beyond the scope of the course. So we won't do that in this course. But you should at least know how to handle the linear terms by translating the surface.